Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Cooler, shills, definitely search, peasants, fossils. I'm a useful idiot, and uh, today I want to talk about General Petraeus and the uh, resignation of General Petraeus, the head of the CIA, present head of the CIA. And of course, uh, there's a lot of buzz going on about this and all kinds of different levels to this story. And of course, another general, General Allen, has been uh, taken down by this uh, this affair, so to speak. And uh, so anyway, this uh, story has to do with a, a number of things that are pretty interesting. And the first one, of course, is the fact that uh, General Petraeus is having an affair. And uh, General Allen is having an affair. And pretty much anybody in power is having an affair. Everyone in Hollywood is having an affair. Everyone in our government is having an affair. All the politicians are having an affair. Everybody on Wall Street is having an affair. That's just the nature of the beast. So there should be no surprise there. and uh, It's hardly uh, worthy of even making a judgment on someone's character anymore that they're having an affair because that's just how it is. And uh, particularly in the uh, halls of power, this is very commonplace because uh, the illusion of stability, the facade, the political facade of a happy, stable marriage is, of course, necessary for a political career. So if you can get a very ambitious woman and a very ambitious man together, uh, they'll go through hell and high water to ma maintain this facade to advance both their political career careers. Of course, Bill and Hillary Clinton come to mind in this scenario uh, in a very extreme case. And uh, they're both power-hungry monsters. And uh, so they will team up together and maintain this uh, incredible facade in spite of all the stresses and strains and uh, complete lack of love. So, uh, so we have that. There's that layer. So uh, it's unfortunate that uh, it's so easy in the surveillance society to find out this kind of dirt on someone. They have something like tens of thousands of emails involved in this whole situation. And, uh, it's remarkable that in our new surveillance society that, uh, of course, this information could be found out. But uh, also the fact that uh, it's so easy to just destroy someone. And uh, apparently this is the case with uh, General Petraeus because... Uh, also, uh, information has come out that uh, this whole knowledge of this, this affair has been stretches back months and perhaps years. So, uh, so anyway, a uh, very sad situation in that sense. But uh, who cares? I don't know. I don't give a shit. And um, but then, of course, we look behind the scenes and what the motivations for taking down General Petraeus right now. There's speculation that it's uh, because he was about to. Uh, uh, testify in hearings about Benghazi, which uh, he'll probably end up testifying anyway. And uh, I'm not really sure how much of a, a story there is in, in Benghazi, other than uh, everything that's still secret that is involved as far as a secret prison and, and a CIA operation and all that. But uh, more importantly, I think uh, it's uh, General Petraeus's feelings about uh, both Iran and Israel probably have got him into trouble. Um, it is uh, noted that he uh, resists calls for uh, an attack on Iran. So perhaps, just like in Israel, they want to get rid of all the opposition to that upcoming war. And then we also have a uh, history of General Petraeus being one of few general uh, American generals who uh, look upon this, our uh, relationship with Israel and see its flaws. And as far back as March 2010, he talked about the fact that Israel acts with impunity and uh, is in transient. And um, he even said, uh, he even requested that the Israeli Gaza region be put under his command in CENTCOM in the Middle East. He was so concerned about our relationship with Israel there. And the perception that the U.S. couldn't stand up to Israel if it wanted to and, um, and that they undermine our national security. And in fact, Oh, uh, very recently, he talked about the fact that he considered Israel a strategic liability in the Middle East. So he's no friend of Netanyahu. He's no friend of Israel. And uh, perhaps that was the reason he was getting, gotten taken down. Certainly we know that APAC, the American-Israeli lobby in the United States and Washington, D.C., is the most powerful lobby in the United States, if not the world. And uh, they can get what they want. So if they wanted Petraeus removed, despite the fact that he was a hero in both the Iraq and Afghanistan wars, and a very, uh, very adept general strategically and tactically. And, uh, so anyway, 
a uh, very interesting situation. And of course, uh, I want to finish with the last intriguing aspect of this, and that's the fact that the very head of the CIA is a victim of our own surveillance police state and the CIA uh, eavesdropping and um, intercepting his communications. So, uh, how ironic is that? So, I'm East Validian. Don't you be one too.